<coughs> Dear students, welcome. This is our fifth class on pair of straight lines. Today, we shall discuss some more problems on pair of straight lines. The general equation of second degree ax square plus twice xy plus by square plus twice dx plus twice fy plus c equal to zero. If the general equation of second degree represents a pair of parallel straight lines, then what should be the condition that the general equation of second degree may represent a pair of parallel straight lines? We shall show that the parallel straight if this equation represents two parallel straight lines. Then a square equal to ab, af square is equal to bg square. Also, we have a by h equal to h by b, this is equal to z by f. We shall prove this. Also, we shall try to find the distance between these two parallel straight lines. Let us start. <coughs> if the equation General equation of second degree ax square plus twice hxy plus by square plus twice <coughs> zx plus twice fy plus c equal to zero represents two parallel straight lines. Straight lines, then to there h square equal to ab. Not only that, ax square equal to bz square. And from these two relations, we can find that a by h equal to h by b. This is equal to z by half. We can find this. Also, show there. <coughs> Show that the perpendicular distance, the distance between the perpendicular distance means the distance between the two straight lines. The distance between these straight lines distance between these two straight lines. Is two times of root of r z square minus a c divided by a into a plus b. We are going to solve this problem. You see, the two straight lines are parallel. If the two straight lines represented by the general equation of straight line, general equation of second degree. Are parallel, then the slope of both the then, then the slope of the straight line should be equal. Therefore, we may take the straight lines x. I am writing here. <clears throat> Let the two parallel straight lines parallel straight lines represented by But ax square plus twice hxy plus by square plus twice gx plus twice fy plus c equal to zero represented by this b we may write it that like this ax root of r by plus p1 some constant some constant this is number two suppose this is number one and root a x plus root b y plus p2 this is equal to zero we may take like this so that the combined equation of two and three is the combined equation of two and three is equation of two and three is root a x plus root b y plus p1 into root ax 
plus root b y plus b two. This is equal to zero. Simplifying, we will get a x square plus multiply this and this. You will get root over a b x y multiply this and this. Root over a b x y. Two times of root over a b x y plus b y square plus root a x into p two. Root a x into p one. Root a into p one plus p two. X plus root b into p one plus p two plus p one p two. This is equal to zero. Suppose this is number four. Suppose this is number four. <coughs> Now we see one and four represent the same pair of parallel straight lines. One and four <coughs> clearly. One and four represent the same pair of parallel straight lines. Parallel straight lines. Comparing one and four, we get. Therefore, comparing one and four, we get one and four, we get. Comparing one and four, we get compare one and four. Then you will get. <coughs> you see the coefficient of x square and coefficient of y square are same. H is equal to root of a b. Root of a b number one. Root a into p one plus p two. This is equal to twice z. Root b into p one plus p two. Root b into twice half. P one plus p one into p two equal to c. We'll get this. Suppose uh, it is number five. This is number six. Suppose this is number seven and it is eight. Suppose this. From five we get five implies. From five you will get <coughs> eight square equal to a b. Eight square equal to a b. Six divided by seven. Six divided by seven implies. Root a p1 plus p2 divided by root b p1 plus p2. This is equal to twice z by twice f. This means you will get root over a by b equal to z by f. This means a by b equal to z square by f square. This means a f square equal to b z square. A f square equal to b z square. You will get this. Now, a f square equal to b z square. Multiply both sides by a. You will get a square f square equal to a b z square. What is a b? A b means a square. From this, from this relation, you will get a square into z square. <coughs> this means a f whole square equal to a z whole square. This means a f equal to a z. A f equal to x. You will get this. <coughs> Or you may write <coughs> a by h equal to z by f. A by h equal to z by f. Suppose it is nine. Now h square equal to a b. From this you will get a by h equal to h by b. Suppose this is ten. Nine and ten. From nine and ten you will get a by h equal to h by a h by b h by b a by h equal to h by b a by h equal to z by f z by f. This is the required condition that the. Uh, 
straight lines represented by ax square plus twice ax y plus by square plus twice gx plus twice fy plus c equal to 0 may represent a pair of parallel straight lines. May represent a pair of pair of parallel straight lines. Now we shall uh, find the distance between these two parallel lines. What are the parallel lines? 2 and 3. Root A x plus root B y plus P1 equal to 0. Root A x plus root B y plus P2, this is equal to 0. In order to find the distance between these two parallel lines, if you if we find the distance of these two parallel lines of these lines from the origin, then we subtract. Then we shall definitely find the distance between these two parallel lines. Suppose these two are parallel lines. Suppose this is your origin 0, 0. If you find the perpendicular distance from this and this, this distance, and if you find the perpendicular distance from origin to these straight lines, then if you if you subtract this distance, this distance from this distance, then you will find the distance between these two parallel lines. In this way, we shall find the <coughs> distance between these two parallel lines. Now let us. Find the distance between these two parallel lines. Now, <coughs> now the distance between the parallel lines, lines two and three. The distance between the parallel lines 2 and 3 is nothing but is the difference of their distances of their distances from the origin from the origin distances from the origin therefore record distance equal to Required distance. This is equal to root a into 0 plus root b into 0 plus p1 divided by root of r. Root a root square plus root b root square minus root a into 0 plus root b into 0 plus p2 divided by root of r. Root a root square plus root b root square. This is equal to P1 minus P2 divided by root of R A plus B. A plus B. This is equal to, you may write P1 minus P2 is nothing but P1 plus P2 whole square minus 4 P1 P2. You may write like this root of R A plus B. Root of R A plus B. Which is equal to. This is root of R. What is P1 plus P2? From 6, P1 plus P2 equal to twice Z by root of R. Twice Z by root of R. Whole square. Minus 4. P1, P2 means 8. Uh, means uh, C from 8. A plus B. By 6 and 8. By 6 and 8. By 6 and 8, you will get this. This is equal to 2 can be taken outside the radial side. <coughs> G square by E minus C into A plus B. This is equal to 2 times of root of R. G square minus AC divided by A into A plus B. 
This is the report distance. Now, note, since AF square equal to BZ square, this means Z square equal to AF square divided by B. Therefore, the distance may be, take more, may be written in this way also. Now, uh, you may take it up as no. Therefore, the distance between the parallel lines, distance between the parallel lines, this is equal to 2 times of root of r. You may write a f square divided by b minus a c divided by a into a plus b. In a way, like this. Now, a a will be cancelled from this. a a a. This is equal to 2 times of root of r. f square minus b c divided by b into a plus b. The distance between the two straight lines is this also in this form in terms of f also you can find the distance between the two parallel lines two times of root over f square minus bc divided by b into a plus b now let us take a problem of this let us take one problem So there, question, so there, the equation, x square plus 6xy plus 9y square plus, plus 4x. 12y minus 5 equal to 0. Minus 5, this is equal to 0. So that the equation, this represents a pair of parallel straight lines. Parallel straight lines. Also find the distance between them. Distance between them. Between them. Now, <clears throat> solution is like this. Comparing the given equation with, comparing the given equation with a x square plus twice h x y plus b y square plus twice z x plus twice f y plus c this is equal to zero we get comparing the given equation with this we get <clears throat> a equal to one b equal to nine c equal to minus five h equal to <clears throat> three z this is equal to two f equal to six f equal to 6. Therefore, first find abc plus twice fgh minus a f square minus bz square minus c h square. This is equal to 1. abc 1 9 minus 5 plus twice fgh f z h minus a f square minus 1 into a f square, six square, minus b z square, b into square, minus c h square into h square, c square. 
this is equal to minus 45 plus 72 minus 36 minus 36 plus 45 you see 45 45 cancel this is equal to 0 this is minus 72 plus 72 equal to 0 therefore the given equation represents a pair of state lines therefore the given equation equation represents a pair of pair of straight lines now what is the condition that the two straight lines are parallel a square equal to a b a f square equal to b g square also a by h it is obvious a by h is equal to h by b equal to z by f therefore h square equal to now uh, straight lines now h square equal to 3 square equal to 9 a b equal to 1 into 9 this is equal to 9 therefore h square equal to a b a f square equal to 1 into f square 6 square this is equal to 36 b g square this is equal to 9 into 2 square 36 therefore a f square equal to b g square a by h equal to 1 uh, divided by 3 h by b this is equal to 3 divided by 9 equal to 1 by 3 z by f this is equal to 2 divided by 6 equal to 1 by 3 therefore a by h equal to h by b equal to z by f therefore the given equation represents a pair of parallel straight lines therefore the given equation represents a pair of parallel straight lines therefore the given equation represents a pair of parallel straight lines straight lines parallel straight lines now the distance between the two straight lines between the straight lines this is equal to 2 times of root of r z square minus ac divided by a into a plus b 2 times of root of r 2 square minus 1 into minus 5 divided by a into 1 plus 9 this is equal to 2 times of root of r 4 plus 9 is 9 6 divided by root of 10 6 divided by root of 10 also <coughs> you may check here uh, in this way also 2 times of root of r f square minus bc divided by b into a plus b 2 times of root of r what is f square? 6 square minus bc 9 into minus 5 divided by b into 9 into 9 plus 1 2 times of root of r 36 plus 45 divided by 9 into 10 9 into 10 what is this? this is equal to 2 times of root of r 81 by 9 into 10 this is equal to here it is 9 3 6 divided by root 10 in this way also you may find the distance between the two statements
Parep si iu understand this. This uh, problem may be solved in an another way also. Let us try to solve this problem in the alternative way. Now we are going to solve this problem in an alternative way. Alternative. Alternatively, suppose. Alternatively. The given equation is the given equation is the alternative that one the given equation is <coughs> x square plus <coughs> six x y plus nine y square plus four x plus twelve y minus five equal to zero. Minus five. This is equal. You may write like this: x square plus two into x into three y plus three y whole square plus two into x into two plus two into thrice y into two plus two square. This is equal to two square plus five. You may write like this. Also. You may write like this. Now see the left hand side. See the left hand side. X square plus a plus b plus c whole square. A square plus b square plus c square plus twice b plus twice b c plus twice c into a means x plus thrice y plus two whole square. This is equal to four plus nine equal four plus five equal to nine. Nine. This means x plus times y plus two equal to plus minus three. This is equal to plus minus plus minus three. This means x plus times y plus two. Minus three equal to zero, and you will get x plus thrice y plus two plus three equal to zero. Plus, we shall. <coughs> this means x plus thrice y minus one equal to zero. Suppose this number is a, and uh, x plus thrice y plus five equal to zero. Suppose this is number b. What does it mean? The given equation represents two straight lines given by A and B. This means that this means that the given equation. This means that the given equation equation represents. Two straight lines represented by represent two straight lines given by A and B. A and B. These two straight lines. This means that the given equation is nothing but these two uh, straight lines A and B. The combined equation of, equation of A and B. If you multiply a and b, then you will find the given equation. Given equation. Therefore, the given equation represents two straight lines given by a and b. Now, slope of the equation a, slope of a, of equation a, straight line. So, slope of the straight line, straight line. This is equal to. Minus one by three. Slope of straight line B. This is equal to minus one by three. Therefore, the two straight lines A and B are parallel. Therefore, the two straight lines A and B are parallel. The two straight lines A and B are parallel.
we are going up to straight lines A and B are parallel. Now, what is the distance between the two straight lines A and B? The distance between the two straight lines A and B is the difference <coughs> the distance between the, the distance between A and B the distance between A and B this is equal to perpendicular distance from origin 0, 0 on B on the straight line B minus perpendicular distance from 0, 0 from the origin on the straight line A on the straight line A what is the perpendicular distance? 0 plus 3 into 0 plus 5 divided by root of R, 1 square plus 3 square minus 0 plus 3 into 0 minus 1 divided by root of R, 1 square plus 3 square. This is equal to 5 by root of R thing plus 1 by root of R thing. This is equal to 6 by root of R thing. You may find the distance between the two parallel straight lines in this way also. This is the alternative method on finding the uh, straight lines and in this way also we can show that the two straight lines are parallel. It represents two straight lines the straight lines are parallel and we can find the distance between these two straight lines. Let us take an another example of this type. Of this type. Let us take an another example of this type. Suppose the straight lines show that 4x1 12xy, 9y square, plus y6, plus 3y, minus 42 equal to 0, represents two parallel straight lines. Straight lines. Represents two parallel straight lines. Also find the distance between them. distance between them. Also find the distance between them. <coughs> also find the distance between them. Here, just like, just as before, A equal to 4, B equal to 9, C equal to minus 42, H equal to 6, G equal to 1, F equal to 3 by 2. F equal to 3 by 2. Therefore, ABC plus twice FGH minus AF square minus BG square minus CH square equal to 4 into 9 into minus 42. Minus 42. Plus twice FGH. FGH. Minus a f square for 3 by 2 square minus b z square 9 into 1 square minus c h square minus 42 into uh, 6 square 30 minus 36 into 42 plus 18 minus 9 minus 9 plus 42 into 36 you see 36 into 42 42 into 36 will be cancelled minus 9 minus 9 plus 18 equal to 0 therefore 1 represent two statements 
Вверху упал. Suppose this is one. Therefore, one represents two straight lines. Represents a pair of straight lines. Pair of straight lines. One represents a pair of straight lines. Now you see h square. This is equal to six square equal to thirty six. AB equal to four into AB. 4 into 9 equal to 36. Therefore, h square equal to ab. Af square equal to 4 into 3 by 2 whole square equal to 9. Bz square equal to 9 into 1 square equal to 9. Therefore, Af square equal to Bz square. Bz square. A by H equal to 4 by <coughs> A by H equal to 4 by 6 equal to 2 by 3. H by A equal to 6 divided by H by B, not AB. H by B equal to 6 divided by 9 equal to 2 by 3. Z by F equal to G by F equal to 1 divided by 3 by 2. This is equal to 2 by 3. Therefore, A by H equal to H by B. This is equal to Z by F. Z by F. Therefore, 1 represents a pair of parallel straight lines. Therefore, 1 represents a pair of parallel straight lines. Parallel straight lines. One represents a pair of parallel straight lines. What is the distance between them? What is the distance between the two straight lines? Now we shall find it. What is the distance between the, these two parallel straight lines? The distance between these straight lines 2 times of root of r z square minus ab divided by a into a plus b this is equal to 2 times of root of r 1 square minus 4 into minus 42 divided by a into a plus b a plus b this is equal to 2 into root of r, 1 plus 13. This is equal to 2 into root of r, 169 divided by 4 into 13. This is 13. Equal to root of r 13. You will get root of r 13. This is equal to root of r 13. Also, I... I know 2 into root of r f square minus bc divided by b into a plus b this is equal to 2 times of root of r 3 by 2 root square minus 9 into minus 42 divided by b into a plus b 4 plus 9 you may write like this this is equal to 2 into root of r 9 <coughs> 9 by 4 minus plus 9 into 42 divided by 9 into 13. You may write like this. Now see, 9, 9 will be cancelled. This is equal to 2 times of root of r. 1 by 4 plus 42 divided by 13. 13. This is equal to equal to 2 into 1 by 2 into root of r 1 plus 168 divided by 30. This is equal to root of r. In this way also you may find the distance between these two 
parallel straight lines. You will find the distance between these two parallel straight lines. <clears throat> now, as before, we shall try to solve this problem in an alternative way. Alternative way. In an alternative way. Alternatively, the given equation can be written as we can we may find uh, we may write the given equation in this way. Twice x whole square, two into twice x into thrice y plus thrice y whole square plus two into twice x into one by two. You may write one by two plus two into thrice y into one by two into one by two. plus 1 by 2 whole square equal to 1 by 2 whole square plus 42 right like this see the left hand side you may write the left hand side as minus plus 1 by 2 mm -hmm. plus 1 by 2 whole square this is equal to 4 1 plus this is equal to 13 divided by 2 whole square 13 divided by 2 whole square or twice x plus thrice y plus 12 equal to plus minus 13 by 2. This means therefore, <coughs> therefore you will get twice x plus thrice y plus half minus 13 by 2 equal to 0 and we will get twice x plus thrice y plus half plus 13 by 2. This is equal to 0. That is twice x plus thrice y minus 6 equal to 0 suppose this is number a and twice x plus thrice y plus 7 equal to 0 suppose this is number b therefore the given equation 1 represents two straight lines given by a and b Therefore, the equation 1 represents two straight lines given by A and B. Therefore, the given equation represents two straight lines. Lights given by A and B. Given by A and B. Now, <coughs> slope of A, the straight line A, this is equal to minus 2 by 3. Slope of straight line B equal to minus 2 by 3. Therefore, the straight lines A and B, straight lines A and B are parallel. The straight lines A and B are parallel. The distance between the two straight lines, between the two straight lines A and B, straight lines A and B. The distance between the two straight lines A and B equal to 2 into 0 plus 3 into 0 plus 7 divided by root of R 2 square plus 3 square minus 2 into 0 plus 3 into 0 minus 6 divided by root of R 2 square plus 3 square. The distance between the two straight lines will be this. This is equal to 7 by root of R, 13 plus minus, mi minus minus plus, 6 by root of R, 13, 13 by root of R, equal to root of R, 
in this way also we may find the distance between the two street lights now let us take an another example let us take another Let us take another. Two there. The street lights. Two the origin. Origin. Two the. One show the intersection. Point of intersection. Suppose this is the origin. We join the origin to the point of intersection. To the point of intersection of the two curves. This angle will be at right angle, 90 degree. This angle will be at 90 degree. If this angle is 90 degree, then we have to show that this is equal to this. Then we have to show that this is equal to this. <coughs> now, see. The given curves are solution. Let us try to solve this problem. Solution. The given curves are AX square plus twice HXY plus BY square plus twice ZX plus twice a y plus oh no no plus twice dx equal to zero plus twice dx equal to zero this is number one and a dash x square twice x dash x y b dash y square plus twice z dash x equal to zero this is number two that two parts of this now multiplying one by z g dash and 2 by g and then subtracting will it now multiplying 1 by one by g dash and 2 by g 2 by g and then subtracting we get then subtracting we get Multiply this by g dash and 2 by g and then subtracting we get. See the coefficient of x square. A g dash minus a dash g, a dash g into x square. A dash g into x square. You will get this. Plus 2 then so h z dash minus h dash z x y plus b z dash minus b dash z y square plus 2 dash of 
Zizidas minus Zidas Z X equal to zero. X equal to zero. Obviously, this equation. What is this equation? It is a homogeneous equation of second degree because this, this term will finish. Since it is a homogeneous equation of second degree, it will represent two straight lines passing through the origin. Also, also it will pass through the points of intersection between 1 and 2 also. This means a z dash minus a dash z into x power plus 2 times of a z dash minus a z dash z x y plus b z dash minus b dash z y square this is equal to 0. Suppose this is number 3. 3 is an equation which passes through the uh, which uh, pass through the points of intersection between 1 and 2. Now 3 it is a R. It passes through the points of intersection between 1 and 2. But it is a general, it is a homogeneous equation of second degree. Now 3 is a 3 is a homogeneous equation of second degree. Homogeneous equation of second degree. 3 is a homogeneous equation of second degree. Therefore, it represents a pair of straight lines passing through the origin. It represents a pair of straight lines passing through the origin. It represents a pair of straight lines passing through the origin. Also, three pass through the points of intersection between when one and also three pass through the points of intersection. Intersection between one and two. One and two. Between one and two. The two straight lines represented by three will be at right angle. The two straight lines, straight lines, one and uh, two straight lines represented by three. will be at right angles, will be at right angle. angle. If in equation 3, if in equation 3, coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square, y square equal to 0, a plus b equal to 0. The two straight lines, the angle between the two straight lines is given by term theta is equal to 2 times of root of r, a square minus a b divided by a plus b. The two straight lines will be parallel if a square is equal to a b. The two straight lines will be perpendicular if a plus b equal to 0. For the equation a x square plus twice a x y plus b y square equal to 0. The homogeneous equation of second degree equal to 0. Therefore, a z dash minus a dash z plus b z dash minus b dash z equal to 0. This means z dash equal to z dash into a plus b equal to z into a dash plus b dash. 
Pires Plus Minus. That to state that will be <coughs> perpendicular. If coefficient of x square and coefficient of uh, sum of the coefficients of x square and y square equal to zero. Let us take another problem. Let us take another problem. <coughs> another problem. <coughs> Just let me write the problem. <coughs> let me write the problem. Find the equation of pair of straight lines, straight lines through the origin Find the equation of pair of straight lines through the origin to the point of intersection through the origin to the point, points of intersection between the circle between the circle x square x square plus y square equal to a square and the straight line y equal to mx plus c Find the equation of pair of straight lines through the origin to the points of intersection between the uh, circle this and the straight line this. Hmm. Also through there. This the straight lines. Straight lines will be at right angle will be at right angle if angle if will be at right angle if will be at right angles or the straight edge will be perpendicular to each other. will coincident if c square equal to a square equal to 1 plus m square c square equal to 1 plus m square let us try to solve this problem find the equation of pair of straight lines through the origin to the points of intersection between the circle this and the straight line this also show that the straight lines will be at right angle shape this now <coughs> Solution. The given circle is x square plus y square equal to a square. The given straight line is straight line is y equal to mx plus c. Number two from two you will get y minus mx divided by c equal to one y minus an x equal to 1. Now, we shall make a homogeneous equation of second degree using 1 and 2. We shall uh, make a, a homogeneous equation of second degree. Then, that homogeneous equation of second degree will definitely represent a pair of straight lines passing through the origin. Passing through the origin, and that straight line will pass. Uh, the straight lines will pass through the origin as well as the points of intersection between one and two. Now we make first we make 
Mais, et mon général, il y a une question de second degree. Equation of second degree. Using one and using one and okay, this is okay, using one and two. Now one implies x square plus y square equal to a square. This means x square plus y square equal to a square into y minus mx divided by c whole square this means c square into x square plus y square this is equal to a square into y square minus twice m x y plus m square x square m square x square this means C square minus M square A square M square C square minus A square M square into X square plus twice M A square XY plus C square minus A square into Y square equal to zero. This is equal to zero. Now, <clears throat> this is a Mozilla equation of second degree. This is the uh, report equation. This is the report equation. Suppose this is number 4. 4 is the report equation. Passing through the points of intersection between the circle 1 and the straight line 2 and passing through the origin. Passing through the four is the report equation. Four is the report equation. Of straight lines passing through the origin, through the origin and through the origin. origin M through the origin M <coughs> passing through the the points of intersection intersection between the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square and the straight line and the straight line y is equal to mx plus c y is equal to mx plus c the two straight lines will be perpendicular to each other if the, the straight lines will be perpendicular to each other each other if coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square equal to zero this means y c square equal to a square into one plus m square twice c square is equal to a square into one plus m square the straight lines will coincide if x square is equal to a b this means twice m a square whole square equal to a into b c square minus a square m square into c square minus a square c square minus a square oh. this means 4 m square a to the power 4 equal to c to the power 4 minus a square c square minus a square c square m square plus a to the power 4 uh, c 
Situ di powerku Minus x kuar si kuar Minus x kuar si kuar m kuar Plus Itu di powerku m kuar No Now see <laughs> uh, It will not be two It will not be two You see Because it is of the form a x square plus twice a six y plus b y square equal to zero. A equal to c square minus x square m square. B equal to c square minus x square. And x is equal to m into a square. M into a square. These two terms will be cancelled. This means c square into c square minus a square minus a square m square equal to zero. Now c is not equal to zero. This means c square minus a square minus a square m square equal to zero. This means c square equal to a square into one plus m square. The two straight lines will be perpendicular to each other if twice c square is equal to a square into one plus m square. If uh, the two straight lines will coincide if C square equal to A square into 1 plus M square. A square. Today I want to <coughs> stop here. Dear students, thanks for watching. Thanks for attending the class. Thank you. Thank you very much.